Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to overclock AMD Phenom 2 XX 1055T. So what you'll be going to do is first load optimize defaults. Yes. Okay, so now we'll get started. First go to the MB Intelligent Tweaker that's called MIT. So what you got to do is see you'll get the correct uh, correct CPU north bridge frequency and the HT link frequency. So these two will be same and just remember those. In my case it is around 1600 to 2000 the frequency it is. Usually it's between two th uh, uh, 1500 or 1700 to 2200. So, uh, so to, get, uh, to start overclocking first disable core performance boost. Okay, if you want you can enable that afterwards checking the stability. Set memory clock to manual and system voltage voltage control to manual okay so we can get started CPU frequency yeah so first we got it what you gonna do is first we're gonna change it so in this video I'll be showing you how to clock it to 2.5 3.5 gigahertz so set it to 250 see even the CPU north bridge frequency is increased to 2000 so I have no problem with 2000 megahertz because my frequency range is from 1700 to 2200 so I'll let it be here you can see core performance boost has increased to 4125 megahertz you can actually keep this enabled if you have a water cooling system a good cooling system because I'm using a, uh, because I'm using a air cooler and it doesn't support it just give me a BSOD and usually it won't be in boot up so uh, you must be knowing your RAM frequency correctly. In my case, my RAM speed is uh, 1600 megahertz. So 1666 megahertz will do. If you don't have, uh, if your RAM doesn't suppose, uh, suppose, support that, just change the multiplier to 5.33, and it goes back to 1332, and yours will be 1.33. DDR3 configuration. You don't have to do anything. Just select this. DCT's mode and gang in case of a AMD processor so not bridge voltage control you'll just leave all those uh, yeah so this don't increase this at all because you are now overclocking and it'll give you problems so DDR3 voltage set it to uh, yeah depending on your RAM my RAM support uh, my RAM can support more but I find 1.5 volts is a correct spot okay CPU voltage control set it to 1.39 volts because my processor has a, T a TDP of 133 and the new one is 95 so depending on yours and what what voltage it can support set it yeah CPU not bridge VID control keep it to the lowest possible yeah so here uh, yeah and the next thing to set are standard CMOS features um, yeah you'll first be uh, first you'll be going to disable AMD K8 cool and quiet control make sure AMD K8 cool and quiet control uh, AMD C1E support are disabled and if you have a AMD Phenom 2 XX 1055T you'll uh, you have to disable core unlock because it'll always give you wrong temperature readings and you don't have any hidden codes to unlock okay so these things and usually sometimes if you have booting problems after doing it to 3.5 gigahertz always try to disable HDD, HDD smart capability and this actual no need of keeping it enabled I always disable it okay so the next thing you'll be going to do is yeah on if okay you can leave this as it is integrated peripherals in my case I uh, I set it to AHCI because okay if you don't know anything I'll just just leave it to ID because normal hard disk support only IDE so rest things like USB 3 let all those be normal yeah and one more thing is uh, let this be to uh, let this be S3 and rest things are normal PCI these are uh, yeah PC, uh, yeah PC health status this uh, you may want to disable CPU smart fan control and this because uh, you know uh, it will run at the ma the fan will run at the maximum speed if these two are disabled 
so it'll make some noise but I'm using a very cool cooler master fan so I don't have problem with the noise made by it so I can disable those and a uh, tip yeah never inc uh, never increase or reduce this this should always be 100 megahertz increasing or decreasing this will result in a disaster let it be on auto or set it to 100 so next uh, other things you don't want to do anything memory clock is set the north bridge and south bridge are set to through 2000 megahertz and after that yeah this will be a processor the processor speed is 3.5 gigahertz and we have set the voltages we are good to go so in my case i'll be booting up windows 8 so that's all you have got to do with overclocking and wait for the system to boot up First time after overclocking, it takes some uh, it takes some time to boot up. But you know, with the new frequencies, if you restart your PC two to three times, it gets very fast. See, yeah, this was pretty fast. But usually after overclocking, it won't be so fluid. So mm, yeah, that's it. 